electric field lines physics for everyone welcomes you today topic is electric field lines and rules for drawing electric field lines for charges let us consider a point charge isolated point charge placed in vacuum the value of q is 1 nano coulomb and we consider a point a at a distance r a equals root 3 meter let us find what is the electrical field intensity at a given by a formula k times q by r a square after substituting the value of k as 9 into 10 power 9 the value of q as 1 into 10 power minus 9 then r a is root 3 r a square is 3 then after simple calculation we find the e a equals 3 newton per coulomb and its direction is away from plus q good if the charge is a negative charge the magnitude of ea doesn't change but the direction is reverse the direction towards the point charge radially towards the point charge let us consider another far point b which is at a distance r b equals 3 meter the same procedure is being followed to find what is the value of electrical field intensity intensity at b we find that eb equals 1 newton per coulomb the magnitude at B is 1 Newton per coulomb. Its direction is radially away. Good. Suppose the charge is negative. The source charge is negative. Then the direction is simply reversed. So what we need to understand from this numerical example is as we go away from the charge, whether it is a positive charge or negative charge, the magnitude of electrical field intensity decreases by a relation E proportional to 1 by R square because K, Q, R remains same in this problem E proportional to 1 by R square. Right. One more point you need to understand by taking R A as radius plus Q as the center, you imagine a shell. The magnitude of electrical field intensity on this shell remains same but the direction is radially outward. Similarly, you can consider and another shell with radius rb and center plus q with all point having on the shell eb equals 1 newton per coulomb and its direction is radially outward this is an isolated positive point charge electric field vectors are visualized by the concept of electric field lines look at here good this is electric field lines they form a set of continuous lines which are the visual representation of the electric field in some region of space good rules for drawing electric field lines for charges the electric field line starts from a positive charge and end at negative charges or at infinity an isolated point charge this is a source charge source charge plus q and the plus q naught is a test charge the plus q naught experience a force and it is repelled away. Now, wherever you keep plus q naught around plus q, then it will be pushed away radially. So, this is the direction around the plus q through which the test charge will move. For a positive point charge, the electric field lines points radially outward. This is the direction in which the test charge moves. For an isolated positive point charge, the electric field line starts from the charge and ends only at infinity. Because there is no nearby other charges or any conductor. This is a negative point charge, isolated negative source charge. Now, a test charge is placed in the electric field this test charge is attracted by minus q now how the electrical field lines would be formed it would be like this these electric field lines shows the direction of this test charge towards minus q for a negative point charge the electric field lines points radially inward for an isolated negative point charge, the electric field line starts at infinity and end at the negative charge. 
we consider two point charges plus q and minus q separated by a distance let us draw electric field lines for these two charges the electric field line starts from plus q and terminate at minus q let us consider a point p on one of the electric field lines and draw a tangent to this point this tangent gives the direction of electrical field intensity at this point P. So, we can say that the electric field vectors at a point in space is tangential to the electric field lines at the point. Here, you have a point charge and the electric field lines are shown for a point charge. Now, let us consider a small area. Now, how many number of lines are passing through this area? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 lines are passing through this area perpendicular to the surface. Now, let us move this area little away. Now, let us find how many lines are passing through it. 1, 2, 3. There are 3 lines are passing through it. So, as we go away from the source charge, the number of lines passing perpendicular to the surface decreases, telling that the electrical field intensity decreases. The electric field lines are denser, more closer in a region where the electric field has larger magnitude and less dense in a region where the electric field is of smaller magnitude. The number of lines passing through a given surface area perpendicular to the line is proportional to the magnitude of the electrical field in that region. The magnitude of the E vector proportional to 1 by R square. Here, there is one electric field line. So, another electric field lines, they intersect at a point. Let us find what is the direction of electric field field intensity at every point on the first line. It is different at a different direction because it is a curve. For the second line, the electrical field intensity will be different at a different points. But at the point of intersection, there are two directions for electrical intensity. No two electric field lines intersect each other. If two lines cross at a point, then there will be two different electric field vectors at the same point. As a consequence, if the charge is placed in the intersection point, then it has to move in two different directions at the same time, which is physically impossible. Hence, electric field lines do not intersect. There are four different point charges are given with magnitude plus q, plus 2q, plus 4q and plus 8q. For the plus q charge, there are four electric field lines. For plus 2q, the number of lines getting doubled, it is 8. Then, when the charge are getting doubled, the number of lines also getting doubled. Good. The number of electric field lines that emanate from the positive charge or end at a negative charge is directly proportional to the magnitude of the charges. The electric field lines are drawn for charges plus q and plus 2q. Note that the number of field lines emanating from plus q is 4 and the number of electric field lines emanating from plus 2q is 8. Here there is a region. In this region, the electric field lines are a continuous lines without any break. In a charge-free region, electric field lines can be taken to be a continuous curves without any break. Electric field lines are perpendicular to the surface of a charged conductor. Here you have a conductor which is completely charged, which is positively charged, right? Good. The electric field lines from this charge 
are perpendicular to the surface. Excess charge on a non-uniform conductor becomes most concentrated at the location of greatest curvature. The curvature is more, more is the charge concentrated at the point. Right end is very sharp, high concentration and the left end of the conductor is blunt, very less amount of charge is concentrated. Here we have, have two pair of identical charge, one pair is at the blunt end and another pair is at the sharp end. They experience same forces on each other. The forces between identical pair of charges at either end of the conductor are identical, but the component of the forces parallel to the surfaces are different. So here, let us take the first force and we resolve that into two components. One is perpendicular component and another one is horizontal component. As the end is blunt, the horizontal component F parallel is more here. Uh, good? Right. Whereas on the right end, we have parallel component and perpendicular component. The right end is a sharp end. Therefore, it has a high magnitude of uh, perpendicular component and less magnitude of parallel component. Now, we have to compare only the parallel component of the two pair of charges on either end of the conductor. On the left end, we have more parallel component, more magnitude of the parallel component and on the right end, we have less magnitude of the parallel component. Now, it is F perpendicular that moves the charges towards the surface. It is F parallel that moves the charges away from each other once they have reached the surface. Good. F parallel is smallest at more pointed end. The charges are left closer together producing the electric field as shown in the figure. This is the reason why pointed end has more number of charges compared to the blunt end of the conductor. Here you have a conductor. The charges are uniformly distributed. It has both positive and negative charges. All the charges are available on the surface. It is placed in a uniform electric field. Good. Once it is placed in uniform electric field, on the left hand side you have a positive plate and on the right hand side you have a negative plate that produces this electric field. So what happens to the charges? Good. All the positive charges will move towards the right end. Good. All the negative charges will move towards the left end, creating a new electric field as shown in the figure. We call this polarization. We call this separation of charges in a conductor in the presence of electric field is called polarization. So polarization takes place. An uncharged conductor in an originally uniform electric field is polarized with the most concentrated charges at the most pointed end. Electric field lines do not exist inside a conductor. This is very important point. Electric field lines do not exist inside a conductor where electric field is zero. Two point charges plus Q and minus Q with electric field lines. Electric field lines contract lengthwise to represent the attraction between two unlike charges. Look at the diagram here. The distance between the two distance between the two electric field lines increases as we go away from the line joining the two charges. That means these lines are getting contracted, getting sync because of the attraction between plus Q and minus Q. In a balloon, right, the surface wants to contract. They wants to reduce their area like that. Here the lines wants to reduce their length when there is an attraction. Now, 
two positive point charges now these electric field lines are repelling away they don't connect at the center there is a point this is a neutral point where there is no electric field between the due to two point charges the electric field lines exert sideways pressure to represent the repulsion between the two like charges electric field lines do not form closed loops because of conservative nature of electric field if the electric field lines forms a closed loop these lines must originate and terminate on the same charge which is not possible because electric field lines always moves from positive to negative charge so it is called electrostatic field lines it is a specific term but induced electric field lines forms a closed loop because of non conservative nature of electric field according to faraday change in magnetic field in a conductor produces a loop current eddy current or foucault current it is a generalized term which includes electrostatic field lines thank you children